what do you think you can bring here to our discussion on mission and older people today? What we've done is to build up quite a lot of experience of working both with the clergy, working with pastoral care teams, but also working in care homes about the importance of um, faith to a lot of people and how uh, worship can be developed and what people are looking for, but also practical issues about ageing. So it's that combination of what we need as we grow older and the importance that faith has for many people. Well, we've got a growing number of elderly people in our congregation and parish, and it's a greater and greater need for us to address uh, the, and support the local people. Uh, and um, I hope to be able to bring some experience from that and also from my work with William House. I, I feel that I have um, in excess of 20 years because I cared for family members before joining Crossreach in terms of older people, uh, older members of my family, um, and I brought that to Crossreach. Uh, I do feel that I've got a value, uh, a, a valid uh, contribution to make to the panel today uh, in terms of uh, offering my background, my experience uh, and hopefully uh, to give some positive contributions to the discussions. Good, and, and the work you're doing, has, has it been pioneering work in dementia research? Uh, there, there is something current uh, within the Church of Scotland at the moment, within Crossreach. Uh, we, we recently um, have been accredited to um, have uh, the Heart for Art project um, within the local church here at Stampland. Um, initially, the member of staff that is now the manager of that service uh, has uh, was a former employee of Crossreach, and we developed the idea uh, for Heart for Art. So, um, pioneering, yes, uh, absolutely, because of the the value of uh, art and craft where, for people with dementia. Crossreach are a very important part of the Church of Scotland, an important part of the Church's mission throughout society, and that we will be able to work together uh, as a church to support people throughout Scotland, to minister um, the, the word, uh, I suppose, throughout Scotland, to enable vulnerable people to receive either expert support um, in terms of their health and social care, or to break down societal barriers, or to perhaps help people to understand what the church has to offer them as individuals moving forward uh, in, in their journey in life. Well, at Mayfield Salisbury, we have a series of festivals, one particularly looked at celebrating age and um, faith. And from that, we started to deal with some of the more um, nitty gritty subjects about aging. Um, we have made it a strategic priority within the Kirk session, and we have a plan to roll out um, as we, and as an ageing con congregation, deal with the whole subject of ageing. Not that we will want to set older people apart. And, and I'm right in thinking, as well as being in a local congregation, you've also involved in part of the Guild Golden Age project, and you're also involved in um, it being involved with faith in older people, am I right? Yes, that's right. Um, our church was invited to be part of the Guild project. We'd been doing some of the work that we've engaged with uh, continued with the Guild um, and have developed further since then so that's been a very useful anchoring point um, of what we do at a local level um, but at a more national level um, through Faith in Older People I've had the benefit um, of that wealth of experience and resource that um, is open to everybody if they want to find it. Well over the last couple of years the, the Guild has worked on a project called the Golden Age Project which was designed as a gift from the Guild to the Church of Scotland for its 125th anniversary and was looking at the place of older people in, in the Church and how we work with them rather than see them as a group that we do things for and to. And has it been that project that's been taken up widely through the Church? Absolutely and what's very encouraging is that we've sent out copies to all of our Guild branches which is somewhere in excess of 900 and already getting a lot of feedback of ideas that are starting to happen. Sometimes small ideas, sometimes big ideas but certainly very positive and encouraging ideas and a very, very positive feedback in the whole project. Thank you very much. Thank you.